Are you tired of your freezer leaking on the floor? Is the freezer on the bottom and it just keeps leaking everywhere and the bottom drawer gets stuck? Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't lose this video and you can help me out in the algorithm. I'm gonna also turn the fridge off. Find out how to turn your fridge off and we're gonna take the drawers out. This one's fairly easy. This is on the Viking bottom mount freezer. We're gonna take out the ice maker, the top drawer, and then we're gonna put this drawer to the side. It pulls out just like any drawer. It is kind of heavy, but I'm used to it. Now you're gonna need a lot of paper towel or just a big towel to catch all this water and your favorite steamer. So now take your steamer, hook it up, let it boil, and get ready. You can use a hair dryer or whatever you'd like. I like to use a steamer because it cuts right through. Now we're gonna break up the ice. Now what you wanna do is steam the bottom of the metal back wall across where all the ice is building up so you can separate the ice from the back wall. And then you wanna just clear up all the ice that's on the floor of the freezer. Once you do that, we gotta take out this ice maker. There's three screws in it. We're gonna take out that right screw and the bottom screw. And then we're gonna tilt the ice maker so we can pull out the plug without the ice maker folding on us. And by doing that, we're gonna pull back the zip tie or hit those two clips on the top and bottom and the ice maker will pull out. Remove that screw. Sometimes you can lift the ice maker. This one was a little difficult, but we're gonna take the screw out and set that to the side. Now we're gonna take off this fan shroud. There's three screws holding that in and set that aside. Once you do that, there's a couple more screws here and on the other side in the same position. Once that's done, we're gonna take a flathead screwdriver and we're gonna press on that little tab holding in the ice maker wire harness. On both sides is a tab, push it in and push it back through the wall. Once that's done, this thermostat's gonna stay right there and we're gonna unplug it from the back. This is very sharp, be careful with your hands, wear gloves if you have to, but just be very careful, that's razor sharp. Now back there was two wires, we're gonna unplug those wires and the back wall comes out. Now any ice you see anywhere, just defrost it all up. That's the drain hole back there and that's why it's leaking forward. So first we're gonna defrost as much ice as we can and then we're gonna clear that drain out. If you clear the drain first, you might get a little flood by all this water going down, but we're gonna do it one at a time and dry it up. Now that that's clear, we're gonna push some water through there, and first we're gonna stick our drain weasel in there. You could use a zip tie, a wire, a pipe cleaner, whatever you'd like, just stick it in there, make sure nothing's in there, and now flush the water out. The water has to siphon out very quickly. It shouldn't back up at all. Now I dumped about two of these down there and it flushed right through. So there's no more ice or nothing in there and now we're good to go. Once this is done, you could basically reassemble your freezer and I'm gonna show you how to do that now. And make sure you dry up all the leftover water. Again, everything here is razor sharp. This has a drain heater. You can improvise one with a clothes hanger or you could try to find a drain probe heater from Viking and just attach it. Now we're gonna push this in. First, we're gonna put the ice maker harness back into the clips and then plug in these two wires. The orientation does not matter, just make sure they're plugged onto the terminals. Then you take your finger, stick it back there, and pick up that tube, stick it over the panel. Now we have to get this back wall back in place. Start from the bottom and get it into the drain trough and then push the top in. Sometimes you need a little force right there and then everything should pop back in. And now get all your screws back in. The fan shroud is the last three screws you put in. So make sure you put these quarter inch screws all around the back wall. There's some on this side. Now we get the fan shroud back in, get those screws on. Once the fan shroud's in, make sure you like and subscribe. We still got the ice maker here. Now we're gonna plug that in and slip that wire tie right over the plug and make sure you put this hose where it goes and make sure you put this hose where it goes. If that hose is not in place, every time it wants ice, it's just gonna leak all over your freezer. So make sure you pop it into place. Then you can screw in the ice maker. Once the ice maker is screwed in, you're basically set. After that, you can put the drawers right back in and call it a day. And you, you did it. You did it all by yourself with a little help from me. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave some comments, 
share this video even though no one wants to see this make sure to like and subscribe so you don't lose this video and you can help me out in the algorithm make sure to like and subscribe so you don't lose this video and you can help me out in the algorithm make sure to like and subscribe so you don't lose this video and you can help me out in the algorithm